Hey, hello guys, what is going on? Cameron here and welcome to part 2 of our DKS guide. So, in the first part, we went over inventory, abilities and uh, multiple setups for different uh, situations. Now, in today's section, in today's part of the guide, we will be looking at, uh, first, we will have an overview of the kings and their lair. Secondly, we will have methods of traveling to Waterbirth Island, aka the place uh, where you need to go to get to DKS and uh, the process of getting to it. Thirdly, we will be looking at tactics for the solo, solos and duos. And uh, fourth, we will be looking at tactics for three plus man. And fifth, and finally, we will be looking at rewards. So, uh, on to the first section. Okay guys, so welcome to the first section of the second part of our DKS guide. In this section, we will be looking at the kings at a whole and individually. All of the three kings have 37,400 life points and their max hits range from 1000 to 1100. These three kings attack with all three combat styles and are weak to their relevant combat triangle weakness. So Rex, the melee, is weak to magic, specifically fire spells, while Prime, the major, is weak to arrows, and Supreme, the ranger, is weak to stab weapons and melee. So another thing to mention is that these kings have extremely accurate attacks and uh, are extremely weak to their weaknesses. And help a helpful item that you guys may wish to bring are the Fremenic Sea Boots Four, as these increase damage output and these uh, make the noted uh, Dagonoth bones, well, they note them. So that's really helpful and uh, it can really increase uh, the profit per trip. A note on auras is that the Penance Aura is a really good aura to take in small teams as it can keep up with uh, Soul Split and the level 95 pre prayers uh, because of all the damage you receive but in masses they're not really the best because you don't really get hit that much so I would avoid using that aura. As for the king's lair in order to reach it you need to first take a boat from Re from Ruleka to Waterbirth and uh, you need to take the boat from a person named Jarvald and you after you reach the Waterbirth island you need to run around it and get to the entrance. Now after this you will enter a, a cave as you can see on screen now and uh, in order to get to the Dagonoth Kings uh, you need two people at least and you need to open the doors at the circle spots now I'll actually be showing you guys a clip of the actual run itself straight after this so there is no need to uh, to be worried if you're confused at this moment and at least one of these uh, two people needs a ranged or mage weapon and if solo, you might need to find someone to help. You might be able to find someone uh, right, right at the entrance, right there, killing uh, Dagonoths over there. So if you want, you can ask them. Or I believe there's a uh, friends chat called Bursting Lobs FC. Well, without the FC, and uh, you might be able to get uh, help from there. Okay, so as you can see on screen now, there are two methods to get to uh, the Dagonoth King Caves. The first one is taking a lodestone to Sears Village or any other method to Camelot and then running all the way up to Rileka and the second method is by having your house in Rileka or having a chipped house tablet uh, that you can get through completing the quest Love Story and get taking your way there and then once you reach Rileka you need to take the boat from Jarvald and then you run uh, around the the uh, island and you reach the entrance over there and you can rest here and wait for your team okay so as you can see on screen now I will show you how to get through the cave so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the first to the north entrance and then the south entrance and you need to open them both with your partner and now one needs to go to the top and one goes through the bottom and as you can see on screen now you break each other's barricade you then go down the ladder and you just follow the ladders but there are a couple of spots where this may le mislead you but you can uh, see on the video now to see which spot is the correct, uh, which ladder is the correct ladder to take. Now there are a few resting spots as you can see here. This is the, this is the first of them. Uh, you can rest there to regain your energy behind the ladder with no problem. 
and then you can go through the caves while protecting from your weakness so here you see I protected range while lower levels means to protect mage and here is the second spot that you can rest in it's right behind the ladder and this is the rock lobsters location and finally uh, the third resting spot where there is an obelisk is here if you need to renew your familiar you can just come here and rest and that should be good all right guys so for a solo or a duo you want to be starting at the obelisk and going west to enter the ladder and go to the the chaos together and then firstly you attack the, the supreme both of you together and try to get him down as soon as possible uh, this is the hardest a bit because at first you're attacked by all three kings so you're going to be taking a lot of damage this is why I said lower levels may find it hard uh, to tank all the hits but after this bit it's quite easy so firstly you just killed supreme and then um, lure rex now the way to lure rex is to go east and then go either north or south so that he gets trapped behind one of the curves as you can see and then you just switch to your mage kit and mage him while you're tanking uh, Prime. Now to tank Prime, uh, you can either pro Mage, or if you have SS, SS is really good because you, you can really heal a lot from it after the first round where you get attacked by all three kings. So you can either SS like I am, or pro Mage like Canis, and uh, attack um, Rex, and then attack Prime from a distance. It's quite usual that Supreme spawns while you're killing Prime. You have two choices. You can either continue killing Prime and finish him off, or attack Supreme, kill Supreme, and then go back to Prime. Because Prime doesn't exactly do as much damage as Supreme, especially if you're a lower level. So that's one thing you can do. But also you can um, you can just ki finish killing Prime, like I said, because it's 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 easier that way to keep to make sure the cycle keeps going so firstly supreme and then rex and then prime and keep going in that circle now there is a problem with this in that you need to know how fast you're killing them because if you're killing them too fast then you'll be waiting around until one of the three kings spawns if you're killing them too slowly then you'll have more than one king attacking you at a time now that can prove to be a re really damaging because of the combat triangle buff after the EOC where if you're armor is not protecting protecting you against a certain combat style it's really weak to it and you take a lot of damage for example if you're um, if rex spawns while you're ma while you're ranging um, prime uh, rex can hit a lot through your range armor because it's weak to melee so you you want to be choosing a world uh, at an optimal population so that there's only one king that you're attacking at a time apart from the first round when you go in so both of you should be attacking the same king at the same time so that um, you take the least damage and you do the most damage so you kill them as quickly as you can um, so that's the way to go about it now there are a few things you need to know about this apart from the ones I just said so you ideally only want one row of items for each style so it's a quick switch and you don't have to click a lot and you know mess around with the inventory a lot so clean switch one row for each item uh, each style I mean so that you switch it really quickly and then get on with the ability bashing <laughs> if you like so yeah secondly uh, penance it makes you drink zero prey potions literally zero for solo and duo obviously not probably not for bigger teams because uh, it heals restores 20% of whatever you get hit so that's a significant amount at DKs, especially if you um, if you're going to get hit a lot as you will in a solo geo. So you really want to get penalty. It's extremely good aura. Um, so you really want to get it. Uh, insight may help divert damage, especially if you have a lower level friend and you want to divert damage from them onto you. Might help, but maybe not as much as you might think. Um, so you might want to use it but it won't be a major player in terms of uh, avoiding it, in terms of helping your team, a lower level teammate sustain the trip for longer um, also Skype call if it's your first time doing or even if you're three man or you know four man it really helps in communicating tactics especially if you don't know what to do if it's your first time you really want to be working together you know if you have a difficulty and it's too like 
urgent to type and then wait for a response you might want to just you know scream into Skype or something it's really useful um, I found that out when I was uh, making this guide with Can uh, when we used to talk so yeah it may also be useful to drag prayer switches to the action bar as well because um, you're gonna have to like switch um, your say term turmoil for melee and torment for mage and uh, anguish for range you're gonna have to switch it manually if you don't drag it to your action bar plus you do have a significant amount of spaces there so could easily use those for that purpose so maybe useful to do that also protection prayers if you're a lower level probably be just assessing all the way through if you're a higher one so it wouldn't matter in that case but yeah ideally you only want one high level and one low level or two high levels you don't want two low levels you'll take a lot of damage and uh, it'll be really hard to like kill the kings uh, me and Ken went on a, a if you may call it this a test trip before this to test out some low level armors we were really getting hit really bad I mean with void uh, during well it's really hard to last a long time you take a lot of damage you can't do much about it and you pretty much can't even get through one cycle of the kings it's that bad I mean you eat it you're either eating or you're drinking potions or you know there's not much time to actually deal damage because you're taking so much damage so you want at least one person to be a high level when you're doing this method and uh, another tip is don't use berserker the berserker ability ultimate when you're attacking supreme because it does double the damage that you get on yourself and that can be really really bad at the DKS unless you're you know in a mass but this is this section is for solo and duo so don't use berserker uh, because it really increases your chance of dying and that a few few abilities that are useful for their respective uh, weakness uh, kings are the incendiary shot which hits almost guaranteed 5000 if you're a highish level uh, on prime so that's really good to use um, overpower is a really good ultimate to use on supreme because it does a really good amount of damage and it doesn't have any risks involved like berserker and metamorphosis is also a really good ultimate to use to um, I think it's 1.5 times damage on uh, on Rex using the fire spells. Uh, threshold abilities are really good as well. Um, the best one I'd say to use uh, is assault for use when you're using a um, two-handed stab weapon like ZS, or maybe thresholds for if you have a two-handed dual wield stab weapon like chaotic rapiers or Drigal rapiers. So that's a really good one to use. And uh, asphyxiate, really good one. It stuns Rex, so you can probably uh, afford not to lure him and trap him you can just use asphyxiate and just attack him from the spot um, rapid fire extremely good one to use in prime because it takes his LP down really quickly because you've got all, almost 100% chance of hitting him uh, with um, with his weakness as with any other king so this one really hits high and you don't miss so that's really one good one to use and you can also use blood spells on Rex if you don't have SS because it you can really heal a lot from those but I'd recommend you use fire surge for a higher accuracy it can be a bit difficult to like keep repeating this because there's so much to switch um, and there's so much like um, to do so you have to really concentrate but you will get a reward as you can see from the video um, we got almost back-to-back -back dragon hatchets Oh yeah, and it is it is a myth that uh, you, you'll be attacked whenever the king spawns. You can avoid uh, the kings from spotting you. It may be a bit harder after you see, but it is possible to stay a fair distance and avoid the kings from attacking you. For example, when you're um, maging Rex, you probably won't have Supreme attacking you, even though he spawns, because you're so far away, he won't be able to spot you. Although his range has increased, it's really far away, so... It's it's a good idea to um, to be aware of that so that you're not you know panicking. Um, there are rumors that spread, but as you probably see on screen, it, it's not like all the kings attack you at once. If there's even if they're like outside the range of your minimap, so yeah, you need to be aware of that. And you can get overwhelmed, but stick to it because 
as you probably saw, Ken almost died and tellied, but I was able to solo DKS because I was sticking to a good plan using all these tactics I talked about and making sure only one or maximum two kings attacked me at once, making sure I killed them quickly so that there's only one or two at a time at maximum, and uh, just following the general tips, you should be able to do it uh, smoothly. Um, if you have any questions though, please post in the comment section below, and if anything's changed, please let me know so I can uh, add it in as an annotation. So yeah guys, thanks for this, and I'll see you guys in the next section, which will be for three man or above teams. Alright guys, so for this part, you want to send in the major first out of the three people, or more, so that they can lure away Rex and when they say it's all clear you want to go in if you're the melee and then start attacking Supreme. When Supreme is at around half health you want to call in the um, Ranger to kill Prime because Prime can deal a lot of damage to uh, a melee because of the combat triangle. This wasn't a very good uh, example because for some reason Supreme was already half dead but this is what you should be doing. You, you want to be uh, just spamming your abilities killing Supreme and try to Try to make sure that if you're a ranger you stay away from Supreme because Supreme can deal quite a lot of damage to you. And Provoke doesn't work that well. Uh, I did mention that it would but unfortunately it doesn't. Insight works a little better but don't rely on those to make uh, to make sure you're not attacked. Do have a high defense. Now Rex spawned here. When, you, when Rex spawns and you're not a major you want to be going away from Rex so that the major can peacefully uh, lure him away. Also, sometimes, like here, another king spawns while you're killing it. For example, I'm the melee here, and Prime spawned here a bit early. When that happens, you can't do much. You just want to go to low population world if this happens too often, because it means you're not killing them fast enough for them to, uh, for there to be a gap between each kill. So yeah. And using a titan can really help on prime, even if uh, you're not meleeing, a titan really hits quite high. So <laughs> here you can see the prime example of chaos at DKS. It doesn't always go to plan. Um, when this does happen, the best thing you can probably do is try to kill them as fast as possible. Use as many abilities, trust is probably uh, the best. And try to help your teammates, like if you see here, uh, the Titan is doing a really good amount of damage on Prime, even though uh, Prime is immune to my melee attacks. Um, you can still put the Titan on him and just spam the scroll, and he will do quite a lot of damage. So, yeah. SS is very good as well, because you'll be doing a lot of damage, because if you're attacking with Stab, for example, uh, Prime uh, Supreme will be weak to it. So, yeah. Um, here you can just see one of the trolls I got. Um, this doesn't happen very often, guys, believe me. Uh, it's m much more common to get a normal rare drop from DKS than a troll rare dot, uh, drop from the rare drop table. So just trust me on that one. You will get a drop, just keep persevering. Um, and keep using uh, abilities as much as you can um, because you want to be killing the kings really quickly. Um, for example, when you saw me, um, when you saw Prime spawn earlier while I was killing Supreme, it could have dealt a lot more damage than it did if I didn't have high level Barrow's armor like over here. So you do want to be killing it quickly. Um, but Berserker is not recommended if you're a melee because Obviously, it will double the damage you receive, and that can easily KO you, especially if you haven't got high level armor. Um, also, it is a myth that everywhere is safe, everywhere is not safe at DKS. The, uh, most, the kings will attack you wherever you spawn. That is a myth, guys, um, because as you probably saw from the previous part, of the tactics where I was dealing with Can, it was pretty safe to stay at a distance from Prime and not be attacked by Supreme if you're a if you're a Ranger. So stay near the lure spot for Rex, 
uh, and range prime and supreme won't attack you but it isn't as easy to stay away from supreme as before eoc now it's also interesting that i wasn't being poisoned <laughs> i didn't use a sting single anti-poison i wasn't being poisoned so that's interesting i don't know if that's a glitch but either way I recommend you bring anti-poisons unless you have a unicorn you can right click and use a cure ability there um, that will instantly cure you but it won't give you immunity like anti-poisons do so yeah um, so incidentally regenerate if you saw earlier as well it isn't impossible to use because um, there are regions where there aren't as many spin ellipse as in other regions um, for example, say you were using multi-chain abilities and you were near the edge, uh, you might have probably killed a few spin ellipse, so you could go to that area if there aren't any attacking you in that area um, and use regenerate. Obviously you want to use re rejuvenate as much as possible because that heals more than regenerate, but obviously it's, just, it's got a 5 minute timer now, it has a 60 second timer before, so you want to be um, using regenerate if you can't use rejuvenate but with SS as I said you'll be able to heal back most of the damage you're dealt because your accuracy is almost a hundred percent if you're using the weakness of uh, the, the DKS that you're fighting so overall it's not hard if you cooperate um, try stay away from supreme if when you're raining prime because it can deal a high amount of damage unfortunately it's not easy to stay away from uh, Prime if you're attacking Supreme because you'll be meleeing so it'll be close up you can't lure away as it were or uh, long range it like mages and rangers can do but yeah unfortunately you can also die if you're too low level and this is why it's not recommended for uh, too many uh, for a, a low a really low level you want to have high level armor because of the exponential update um, so that you you're not you're not you know comboed um, uh, so you want to have like 70 plus defense the 70 plus level 70 plus armor if you can you just need experience cooperation um, and make sure you help out your teammates when you can like by using a steel titan on prime especially if your teammate is weaker it's great fun guys when you get into it and hopefully you guys will get some drops um cannon isn't very good it, it may be you know useful but it's not worth it for the amount it costs to maintain so i wouldn't recommend using it um so yeah guys i hope you guys get lucky with your loots i'd like to thank sumo my clan mate who i forced to come here and unfortunately she died um but at least she demonstrated a few things and i'm very grateful that she was there to help us out when we needed her so yeah thank you very much Sue sorry that you died but hopefully you got everything back so yeah guys blessed of luck with loot hope you guys helped uh, found this useful uh, both part 1 and part 2 and uh, I'll see you guys in the rewards summary hey guys as you can see on the screen there are four different rings that the Dagonos Kings drop and two of these are dropped by Rex. Now one of them is a tribid ring, the Berserker ring. Uh, it's the one with a with a war hammer on the end of it and this basically gives you 2.2 crit in all styles which is very useful because it makes it the best tribid ring um, if you don't count mobilizing army in views so it's the best tribid ring in RS so that's really helpful because it's pretty much you don't need to spend like 30 hours on mobilizing armies to get it so that's really popular and as a reason it's 2.7 mil it's the most expensive item from DKS at the moment um, it also drops the warrior's ring which gives a 2.7 I believe um, uh, berserker ring gives 2.2 to all stars but warrior ring gives 2.7 melee crit and it's only 1.2 mil on GE at the moment prime drops um, Seer's Ring, which also gives 2.7 crit to magic and is uh, 2.5 mil, I do believe, it might be 2.1 uh, mil. Archer's Ring might be 2.5 or 2.1 mil, I'm not sure, either of the two. 
But yeah, Archer's Ring gives 2.7 crit to range as well, but it doesn't give any other bonuses. Um, it can make these as best rings in game for their respective um, respective styles by imbuing them at mobilizing armies, um, which takes about 30 hours. I'm not too sure because I haven't, I've never done mobilizing armies in my whole life, but yeah. Um, unfortunately, Berserker Ring I is not the best all round ring. It gives 2.5 crit to all styles when it's imbued, but the best one is uh, Onyx Ring I, which gives 2.7% crit to all styles, but only when imbued. I don't think it gives any bonuses when it's just plain on its ring. So yeah. Also there are uh there is a dragon hatchet um, which is dropped by all three kings and because of this it's the most common drop because all three kings drop it, not just uh, one king like with the rings and the two items. Um two items, circle and mud battle staff, very low value. Uh circle used to be quite useful before you see I think Fist of Gothics because it lowered magic with its special attack but now it's not very good. Odd battle staff acts as ultimate I mean um in unlimited um earth and water rooms so that's pretty useful I guess for spell casting. And also you just have the bones and heights which are pretty good value. Uh so I'd recommend you back them as much as you can. So so yeah guys thanks for watching this guide. I hope you guys found it helpful. And that concludes the DKS guide. So second part hopefully didn't bore you as much as the first one. Um I tried to include everything I could possibly think of. Um so I hope you guys enjoyed the guide. Please comment and uh rate this video and if you have anything to say I'll definitely answer you and uh, if you have any modifications that you suggest to the guide, um I'll definitely review it and think about adding it as an annotation if it's a major thing and so yeah thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video